Today I asked 100 people how much debt they have. Here are their answers. Do you have any debt? Debt? Debt. Debt? Debt or debt? Debt. <laughs> mm, no, I don't have any debt. No. Nope. Nah. Nope. Not anymore. I used to, but I paid it all off, but it took a long time. Was not easy. It was from school. I went to college for mechanical engineering. Would you say it was worth it? No. Uh, it could have been way worse, so I'm thankful every day the way everything turned out. About it's a two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars. One of them was for a computer game, which I bought an edition of it that costed nearly two hundred dollars, and the rest I can't really remember what I was for because that was about two years ago. It's, it's money I owe my friend. Four hundred and ninety-five dollars or something like that, and it's just my loan for my car. Uh, do I have any debt? Uh. No, no, not not yet, not yet. Uh, right now I'd say like uh, uh not an exact dollar amount, but like five hundred fifty. What is the debt from? Uh, literally the dumbest impulse purchases I've made on a few credit cards I have. Uh, one of them is actually this headset I have right now. I only got it like two and a half weeks ago because this whole pandemic thing going on. Other things have just been like games, food, stupid, shit, you know. Do you have any debt? Nope. <laughs> Six hundred dollars. <laughs> Seven hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Do you have any debt? Last time I checked, I was about thousand dollars in debt. But that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And what is that one thousand dollars from? Credit card. One thousand dollars for medical expenses. $1,200. Um, not currently. I've had like small amounts in the past, but never more than like, always under a thousand, always under a thousand. Anytime I ever like accrued any small amount of debt, I always like made emphasis to pay it off as fast as possible. I'm 1,000 pounds in debt for my car. I have a ton of debt and it's not good. I have roughly about 1,488 in debt and I think I'm going to have more by the end of this like month. I have $1,800 in debt. It's for my apartment, so I don't need to sleep on the street. I have not had any debt. Uh, no. I don't. I have like uh, $2,000 from um, my first semester of college, and then I'll be able to pay that off once I graduate. So, luckily I'll graduate with only 2000 in debt. 2000 uh, because... Wow, this is like the computer I'm running right now. Now I'm just paying it off increment by increment. $2,500. I had to guess, probably around $2,500-$3,000. Mainly for school, um, sometimes for just spending stuff. I mean, this whole PC setup is uh, on a freaking credit card, so... Uh, I don't... I'm not in any debt, but the only time I'm ever in debt is if I have a pending statement on my credit card. But I always pay it off in time. Do I have any debt? Yes, I have acquired much debt. You know, student loans, credit cards, bad decisions. And can you say the total amount of debt you're in? About three thousand. Thirty-one hundred dollars. Thirty-five hundred dollars. And what is it from? College payments. Overdue. So I would say between one thousand and four thousand. It's for college. Forty-five hundred dollars for credit cards. I have five thousand one hundred dollars. I bought a boat. How much debt do you have? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Six thousand dollars. Six three hundred dollars. Six thousand six hundred dollars. Seven thousand dollars. Do you owe money to anyone? Like a bit like yes, a my parents card? a lot. Oh, you're like fifty bucks. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars in total. So I have. Two credit cards that are maxed out, two grand each, for my tattoo sleep. Not a good reason to get into debt, but I didn't realize at the time that I was going to lose my job, so kind of backfired on me. And then another $7,000 in debt for a motorcycle that I purchased. I don't make good decisions, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so motorcycle debt, and then the motorcycle ended up getting stolen. $13,000. $13,500. $13,600. About $15,000 for a car. The thing about debt is it can be the best thing in the world for you, it could be the worst thing in the world. It depends on how you leverage it. 
if you're familiar with investment, investment accounts, uh, compounding interest and how to make your money work for you, it's always actually better to go for a finance as opposed to a cash purchase. So if you can, you know, finance something for like 4% over like, you know, a, a number of years, you can put that money away into a savings account and you make more than what you pay in interest back, which is why I would choose to finance a car personally. A lot of people just hate debt, so they buy it cash. Um, however, if you're talking credit card debt, that's like 22%. You don't want that. Uh, about 15000 from uh, student loans. Do you currently have a degree? Yes. Are you still in school? No, I'm in the military now. Ah, uh, God, that's a great question. I think 12,000 British pounds, which is like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000, I think. So I got my car, which is like 10 k um, and then I got like three credit cards, which are like kind of maxed out. Oops. So I'm um, currently $15,500 in debt because of credit cards. Uh, 14,000 pounds. Uh, college and university. Uh, probably around like 20, 23,000. When I was young, I was pretty dumb. <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted to spend a lot of money on like a good computer and all that. So a lot of it was towards like a computer and just like miscellaneous stuff. You know, you don't realize how much you're spending until you see it and you're like, oh, if I would like give advice, don't put everything into credit because you're going to have to pay it back. You don't want to, but you're going to have to. Uh, I have zero debt. Zero dollars. Uh, zero. None. Twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars. I went to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Harvard of the Skies for computer engineering. Most expensive college in the nation, if not the world. Fifty five thousand a year for a degree. And are you still currently in school? No, I am not. I could not afford it anymore, dropped out, and now I'm left with debt and not really any way to work on it. Yes, uh, I have $30,000 in debt to a college. Do you have your degree already? I dropped out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to waste more money. $30,000. It's from college. Did you already get your degree? Yeah, I've graduated. Would you say it was worth it? So-so, mm, I would say. <laughs> it's about $35,000 from studying. I sure do. Around 35 grand. Well, I'm in debt from the fact I quit my job and I had to use my credit cards to sustain myself. And I did various activities along the way, like trying to make my YouTube channel work, sinless rogue. $40,000 in debt because I got into a car accident that I caused and uh, I had to pay for like the medical bills and repairs for the car and stuff. $55,000 for college tuition. Do you already have your degree? Yes. About 60k. <laughs> Expensive yeah. school. Would you say it was worth it? To be honest, I was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff that I did actually pick up and I'm currently using that. If I didn't, I wouldn't know where I would be at right now, to be honest with you. Uh, a little over 65,000. Uh, going to college and general utility. $80,000. How are you going to pay that back? Mary Rich, of course. Or it would be like Star and OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. $89,000 of debt, grad school and college. So do you have a degree now? I do. I'm a family systems therapist. Uh, I have 100000 for reasons I don't want to explain. Yeah, I mean, rough math. I'm, at, I'm about $300,000 in debt. And what is it for? Uh, I have a house loan. I got a couple credit cards that I was foolish with. I got a car payment. Um, wedding ring, uh, medical expenses. I mean, I can go on. I was young and foolish. My biggest piece of advice I'd have to give to uh, most people, and at least the United States, is that some of these companies that you have loans through, they're going to be offering you to defer payments here pretty soon. Try your best to make those payments and keep putting the money towards them, even if they defer it. Because once that deferred period ends, most of these banks are going to want all of those months of payments at one time. And that's going to be really hard financially to pull off. I did it. I said a word. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Here, a round of applause. Hey guys, it's me. I hope you enjoyed that video. Click this button to subscribe or click this box or this box to watch a previous video. Make sure to drop a like and let me know below how much debt you have. See you guys in the next one. Wait, I'm coming back.
Oh, you're still there. Check out my Twitter and Discord in the description below.